Hey everybody, this is Chad from LinenChad.com and today we're going to talk about how to set up widgets on your WordPress blog. Now widgets are all the items that appear in the sidebar of your blog. Different themes on different blogs are going to have different sidebars. Sometimes you might have one bar on the right, two bars on the right, one on each side. Some blogs may not have any sidebars at all. Other themes will let you put sidebars at the top or the bottom, but widgets are what you use to fill those sidebars. To set up the widgets on your blog, you want to go to the parent section in your dashboard and click on widgets. Now the big area in the middle is going to be all of the available widgets that you have. You can get more widgets from different themes. For example, this theme called Fusion that we're using for the example blog has a few widgets of its own. It has its own categories and its own search widget. You can also get new widgets from different plugins. There are a lot of plugins out there whose entire purpose is to create a new widget. Different widgets are going to do different things. Over on the right, you're going to have a list of all the sidebars that are available with your theme. Different themes will have different sidebars, so if you switch themes, you're probably going to have to redo most of your widgets, or at least move them into the new sidebars. You want to, if you want to add a widget to a sidebar, you just click on it and drag it to the sidebar that you want it in. For example, we're going to add a Fusion Categories widget by clicking and dragging, and it says there are no options for this widget, so we'll close it. We're also going to add a calendar. Click and drag and put it right there. Now this one opens up with a title. The title is the only option for this particular widget. Other widgets will have a lot more options depending on what they are. Close. For example, if we wanted to add a categories widget, we would just drag it over the sidebar. Make sure you wait for that dotted line to appear in the background because if you don't, it won't stick. This one pops up with a few different options. I'm going to give it a title, which you don't have to do. You can leave the um, title blank. And then I'm going to check off the Show Post Counts button. Save. I'm also going to add a text widget. It's important to keep in mind that if you're adding multiple widgets, you have to close the current widget before you can add another one. Otherwise, you won't be able to, to, to drop it into the sidebar. So for this one, I'm going to give title. Now, text widgets are really handy. They can do pretty much anything. You can type all sorts of things like text and HTML code. You also want to make sure, if you use a lot of text, to check the automatically add paragraphs box. If you don't check that, you have to add the HTML to separate the paragraphs of the text you type into your text widget. Text widgets are a great way to add pretty much anything. You can use links, you can display images, you can use them for advertising by using an affiliate link with a banner. So you can do a lot with text widgets and they're probably the widget you're going to end up using the most. Now, before I show you how these look on the actual blog, if you ever want to move your widgets around, it's really simple. You just click and drag and drop it where it's going to be now. So let's go over and see how the new widgets look on the blog. Now, the widgets that are already here are the defaults. They get placed in the sidebar when you don't have any widgets that you've placed on your own. The minute you start sticking widgets of your own in there, all the defaults are going to go away and be replaced with what you've added. So I'll refresh the page, and now you see the widgets that I placed. I put a, an example text widget with text and with a link. I put a calendar. This, these are the post categories. All sorts of things you can do with widgets. You can add as many as you want to your sidebar. Just keep in mind that the more widgets you have, the further down the page you're going to go. It won't be a problem as you have more posts to make the page a little bit longer. Now, let's say you're changing themes or you just want to take a widget down for the time being. When you remove a widget, you have to make sure you do it the right way. If you take a widget with options in it, like a calendar widget or like a categories widget, and you remove it, but you're going to want to put it back later, you want to make sure you put it down in the inactive widgets area. That section will maintain the settings for that particular widget. It's right here. It still has the settings that I specified. So if I want to take a widget down for a few days or a week, or if I want to put it to the side while I change themes so I can put it into the new sidebars that come up with my new theme, I always use the inactive widgets area. If you drag a widget back to the available widgets section, it will completely deactivate the widget and it will not retain the settings, so you'll have to start from scratch. 
if you have a particular text widget that you're using to display images or you put a, a handful of different pieces of code into, you don't want to have to retype it from scratch. So always make sure if you want to be able to save that widget for another time, use the inactive widgets area. Those are the basics on how to add and edit widgets on in your sidebar. Now if you ever want to add something to your sidebar that you don't have a widget for, you can consider using a text widget for it, or if you don't know how to write, how to write the HTML code to achieve what you're looking for, just do a search for a plugin that will provide you with that widget.